a kung fu master and his friends unite on a journey to find the world's most powerful magical weapons and destroy them before the entire planet collapses. Today we're going to recap the third season of the series Kung Fu Panda, The Dragon Knight, from 2023. During a trip to England in search of a legendary weapon, Poe and his friends have their boat invaded by the pirate queen Foruzan and her warriors. The sheep plans to capture Ping, but with the help of his friends, the panda fights to protect his father and manages to defeat his adversaries. When the battle seems to be won, Blade orders the pirate queen to surrender, but Foruzan calls a giant octopus to capture them and the rest of her crew arrives to plunder the ship. Then Ping and the bears are captured while Rukmini and Akna are abandoned in the middle of the ocean. A few minutes later, they manage to reach an island that serves as a hideout for the world's most wanted criminals. There, the pair find their friends who have been captured and come up with a plan to rescue them. Meanwhile, Ping is on trial for the alleged crimes he committed when he was a pirate. During the trial, Poe discovers that his father was actually a member of a crew and was taken to court for breaking the pirate code. Thirty years ago, the goose was Captain Foruzan's first mate and, alongside her, sacked countless cities. One night, however, their fleet was destroyed by English ships and they were almost wiped out. That day, he disappeared into the ocean and Foruzan lost her great love. The couple were engaged and she could never forgive Ping for abandoning her to look after Po. Because of this, the sheep sentences him to be eliminated. However, when the old animal was about to be beheaded, Po and Blade attack the executioner and managed to save him. The next stage of the mission is to defeat the pirates and get off the island alive. The problem is that Foruzan is a skilled warrior and manages to defeat the bears in battle. She is about to cut her ex-fiancé's neck when Rukmini appears with the book containing the pirate code and reveals that, according to one of the articles, every pirate accused of crimes against another pirate can request an alternative form of trial. So, to get rid of his conviction, Ping and his gang will have to take part in a tournament where there are no rules. The duel begins and Blade is the first to fight a battle alongside Colin. Their opponents are two rabbits who, despite their diminutive size, prove to be dangerous adversaries. Right at the start of the fight, the rodents manage to defeat their opponents and Poe's team starts the tournament at a disadvantage. At the end of the battle, Foruzan announces the next competitor and Akna is chosen to duel alone against a giant bull. As she is much smaller and weaker than her opponent, the young bird relies on her speed to ward off attacks. When she is about to be crushed, she uses one of her inventions to strike the bull and manages to knock it out. While the audience is waiting for the third round, Blade and Colin sneak out to ask a horseman for help. The last participant in the tournament is Foruzan, who decides to face Poe in the final battle. The sheep uses her two swords to attack him while all the panda has are his kung fu moves. However, even after being hit, the pirate queen doesn't give up and continues her mission to defeat Poe. Despite knowing that Foruzan fights dirty, the panda refuses to level with her and puts up a fair fight, even though she's outnumbered. During the battle, Poe uses one of the sheep's swords to free his father and then manages to knock it out. Displeased, Foruzan accepts her defeat and frees the group. However, it's too late now, as Colin has just used a flare to ask for the help of the dreaded knights. At the sight of the fireworks, the pirates despair and flee immediately. Then a large fleet approaches and begins to bombard the island. Before leaving, Foruzan takes the chest containing the Tianchang weapons back to her ship, but Ping is convinced that his ex fiance has hidden the legendary weapons elsewhere. When they were a couple, the sheep always kept their treasures in a hiding place on that island, so the team decides to go there to investigate. While the knights arrest all the pirates who didn't manage to escape, the group reaches the hideout and Blade finds her stolen sword. Luckily, they find the real chest they were looking for, but just as the team was about to flee, the knights appear and Drake orders Blade to return the sword that belonged to his brother. Just then, the knight is arrested and has to stand trial for theft and escaping from prison. With Colin's help, Blade manages to convince Drake to give his friends a lift to London and the trunk is taken with them. However, before putting him on the ship, the lion decides to investigate what is being hidden inside and realizes that the group is transporting the most powerful magical weapons in the world. After discovering the truth, Drake decides to confiscate the chest and says he will give the treasure to the queen. Afraid that the weapons will fall into the wrong hands again, the group decides to take action and attacks the knights in order to recover the box. However, they end up being cornered and realize that Foruzan has returned to save them. Determined to protect the Tianshang weapons, Po asks his father to take them to England with the Pirate Queen. He then throws Ping into the ship and the goose uses a hook to steal the trunk. Colin tries to stop him from taking the weapons, but Foruzan enlists Alice's help to take the cargo to her ship. Once the artifacts are safe, the group is captured and taken into custody. After a few days on the road, Poe and his friends arrive in England and are escorted by knights to the palace. 
but along the way, the panda manages to steal the keys and breaks free from his cage. He then helps his friends escape and fights Drake to save Blade. Meanwhile, the rest of the group has to defeat the other guards and they all manage to jump before the vehicle they were trapped in falls off a cliff. In an attempt to find out more details about her brother's perishment, Blade decides to go to the palace to talk to the queen. Luckily, they arrived on the day of the chess ball, an event where the queen competes against the country's greatest chess players. So they storm the castle and Blade leads her friends to the queen's chambers. However, on the way, they run into Drake and Poe tries to throw off the guards when he accidentally meets the queen and claims to be her next opponent. During the game, he takes the opportunity to ask about Alfie's last mission and the queen reveals that her war master was eliminated after returning from his vacation. When she realizes that he is being chased by the guards, she offers to help him escape. At that moment, Blade and the other members of the team try to escape Drake's clutches and are helped by Poe to escape through the secret exit. The next destination will be the village of Sujizboka, where Alfie was sent on his last mission. When they get there, they meet Edgar and he reveals that, a few years ago, all the other residents abandoned the town because of a monster that appeared there. After hearing this, Blade decides to go after the creature and her friends accompany her on this mission. Together, they cross the swamp and end up being attacked by a bizarre giant made of moss. During the battle, Poe and Rukmi are captured and Akna and Blade team up to search for their friends while destroying the arms that try to attack them. However, when they find the monster, the bird is also captured and Blade discovers that the thing is actually a small rodent capable of controlling swamp moss. A few years ago, Alfie was sent to eliminate the creature, but abandoned his mission when he discovered that the beaver was actually the victim. Duncan has lived in the swamp for dozens of years, even before the village was built, and has come under attack since other residents moved in. Realizing that Alfie was different from all the other knights he had met, Duncan told him about the Tianshang weapons and asked the bear to destroy them before they fell into the wrong hands. The old animal claims that the only way to destroy those artifacts is to take them to the place where they were forged, the ancient city of Tianshang, which was buried beneath the city of London, hoping that her brother has found a way to reach the lost city. Blade decides to return home and search Alfie's room. Instead of going to England to find Poe, Foruzan decides to stop off on an island, where she intends to enjoy her retirement. At this point, the couple discover that there are some natives living there and they steal the ship's supplies. Furious, the sheep orders Alice to attack the looters and goes after Ping, who is trying to escape with the chest containing the Tianshang weapons. When she arrives at her old house, Blade scales the walls and breaks in through the window to get to her brother's room. She avoids going through the door so as not to find her mother, but her plan doesn't work out as expected. Seeing her daughter, Lucinda shows no emotion, but is surprised when the rest of the team show up and invite them to tea. During the meal, Blade and her mother start arguing and the knight leaves the table to go to her room. After devouring all the cookies, Poe decides to accompany her and helps her friend find Alfie's diary. After finding what they were looking for, the group prepares to leave, but is surprised by the arrival of the knights, who surround the house. They quickly manage to invade and Blade takes her brother's old weapons to use in the battle. Seeing his soldiers being defeated, Drake decides to join the fight and uses the sword that belonged to Alfie to attack Blade. Then, when new warriors appear, the knight and her friends find a diversion to escape unharmed. On the island, Ping and Foruzan are fleeing through the forest with the trunk and soon realize that they have been surrounded. When there seemed to be no way out, they were rescued by a rope and the goose soon realized that it was Klaus who had helped them. The weasel decides to help the pair escape from the island, but because of his history, Ping is convinced that Klaus will betray them at any moment. But instead, he tries to distract Kyle and his gang so that they can both get to the ship. When his plan goes wrong, Klaus fights against his own people and helps Ping load the trunk onto the ship. The weasel knows that those weapons have only brought misfortune to him and his sister, so he wants them to be taken far away. During the battle, Foruzan ends up taking possession of the helmet and decides to use its powers to control the wind to take her ship to England. A few days after leaving the mansion, Poe and his team arrive in London and start looking for the symbol described in Alfie's diary. As they can't find it, Blade has the idea of asking for help from a juggler who has been working in the city since she was a child and Benny claims to have seen that symbol somewhere. After following him, the group ends up in a catacomb and finds the ancient entrance to the city of Tianshang. Before they go through the portal, Lucinda appears and says that she has gone there to help her daughter. Poe is the first to venture into the rocks and discovers how to use the floating stones to move around the universe. The rest of the team follows and ends up having to change course when Lucinda and Rukmini float away. Now they're trapped and don't know which way to go, until Lucinda discovers that it's possible to walk upside down through the rocks and they reach the exact spot where the weapons were forged. 
Blade is convinced that the storm chakram her brother stole from Tikal is in there somewhere. However, she soon discovers that Alfie used that weapon to forge his sword, which is now in Drake's possession. As the knight was eliminated with his own sword, his soul is inside it, as is the soul of all those eliminated by the Tianxiang weapons. Discovering that she can have her favorite son back, Lucinda decides to help Blade recover the sword. So they split into two groups and, while Blade accompanies her mother to the mansion, the rest of the team goes to the docks to find Ping. The next morning, Drake shows up at the mansion and Lucinda helps her daughter attack the knights to steal the sword. Meanwhile, Ping and Foruzen arrive in London and manage to find their friends. Using a rope, Poe and his team manage to climb onto the ship and go to meet Blade. After getting the weapon, they need to get rid of the guards to escape and they escape through the roof, but Drake finds them. Luckily, the flying ship appears just in time, allowing mother and daughter to escape with the sword. Now that they're safely back in the ocean, Poe decides to take the weapons out of the trunk to make them easier to transport and Blade says she doesn't intend to bring her brother back. Although she misses Alfie terribly, the knight knows that it will be very dangerous to free all the souls trapped in that weapon. Before going on his way, Poe says goodbye to his father and tells him that he should stay with Foruzen, since the two of them still love each other. Soon after, the group returns to London and discovers that Colin has been arrested for helping Poe and his team on their previous mission. Seeing the knight in danger, Blade decides to free him and breaks into the tavern to find her old friend. Before escaping, they are surprised by the arrival of numerous guards and have to defeat them in a fight to escape. With no other choice, Colin decides to join the group and they go into hiding in the catacombs to return to Tianxiang. At that moment, the knights find the fugitives in. While they fight each other, Drake goes to meet Blade. When they realize what has happened, the dragon knights run after him, but it's too late, as the lion has already caught up with them. While trying to defend herself, Blade ends up losing the Tianxiang weapons and realizes that they are floating away. She immediately asks her friends to get the artifacts while she tries to get rid of Drake. After getting them, the group goes to help Blade and Colin ends up getting hurt. Just as he was about to eliminate all his opponents, the lion is captured by Veruca, who has gone there to steal all the magic weapons. In an attempt to stop it, Poe uses the power of the gauntlet to destroy the rock, allowing his friends to escape. However, the witch drags the whole island through space and manages to chase them down. Through her roots, she fires a few stones at her enemies and manages to steal the chakram. Veruca then goes after Poe, but Blade manages to stop her with her brother's sword, which has the same power as the chakram. However, after being bitten, the knight can no longer fight and the weasel steals all the other weapons. With her power, Veruca frees the ancestral army and Alfie is among them. Immediately, Blade runs to hug her brother, but he attacks her because he is under the witch's control. Instead of attacking Alfie, the knight tries to make him wake up from the spell and, when Veruca least expects it, she is stabbed by him. The bear then runs to help his sister up and Lucinda is relieved to see her children reunited. After Veruca is eliminated, Poe gives the weapons to Alfie to destroy, but instead of doing that, he decides to use them to unify the planet. To prevent the weapons from being destroyed, Alfie takes his mother and sister away and makes the whole place collapse. Luckily, the Dragon Knights manage to escape in time and realize that the whole world has already begun to collapse. Since they don't know where Blade is, they decide to split up with the promise that if a knight doesn't show up in a month, the group will unite again to look for her. After seeing up close all the harm her brother has caused the planet, Blade decides to flee, as she was unable to convince him to abandon his plan for unification. After a long journey home, Poe finally meets his father again and claims that he is to blame for everything that is happening, since he was the one who gave Alfie the weapons. The panda is sinking into a deep sadness when Blade appears and asks for his help to put things right. To make everything go back to the way it was, they need to find an alternative way to destroy those weapons and Poe decides to enlist the help of the very masters who built them to defeat Alfie. So they decide to split up to find their friends and go their separate ways. After a few days of walking, Poe arrives in Tikal and discovers that Alfie has placed an ancestral spirit on watch in every city to report everything that happens. When he meets Pelpel, the panda discovers that Akna has never returned to her town and is worried about his friend. So he goes to find her in her old hiding place and is relieved to discover that the bird is alive. However, on seeing him, Akna decides to run away and Poe uses a robot scorpion to go after her. After a long escape, the pair have an accident and the panda finally manages to talk to his friend. However, they are interrupted by the ancestral spirit who tries to attack them because he has been ordered to eliminate anyone who causes trouble in his city. In an attempt to protect her friend, Poe attacks the monster and receives the help of Pelpil and Ba to eliminate it. Finally, Blade finds Rukmini and learns that it is her birthday. 
After celebrating with her family, she says goodbye to Dia and the group meets again. The next mission is to find out how to contact the ancestral masters and they remember that Klaus can access them through his magic. Before leaving for the Isle of Wizards, the Dragon Knights are visited by Colin, who has returned to help them complete their mission. While the team is on its way to the island, the warlocks come under attack and Klaus has to hide. When he learns that his sister is after the weasel, Alfie sends his warriors to capture her. Luckily, Blade and her team arrive on the scene before Klaus is taken away and manage to find him. However, when he hears his sister's voice, he decides to go after Veruca and discovers that she is just another spirit sent by Alfie to eliminate him. Immediately, Poe and his friends mobilize to save Klaus and crush the ghosts to save him. When they realize that the zombie soldiers can materialize again, the group runs back to the robot scorpions and Colin destroys the lake. In this way, his friends gain time to escape. After being rescued, Klaus decides to help the gang connect with the ancestral masters. To do this, Poe needs to help him find out how to use his powers, since Veruca was the only one who knew how to use her magic. During a few minutes of meditation, Klaus manages to access the depths of his unconscious and the panda accompanies him on this journey. After visiting some of the weasel's memories, Poe realizes that he possesses wind magic, but was never able to perceive it because he was too busy helping Veruca develop her powers. Meanwhile, the rest of the group goes in search of food and meets a group of bears who offer them mushroom soup. But when they see Colin, they reveal their true nature and try to hunt him down. When the moose is captured, his friends attack the pack and stop the bears from devouring him. After the battle, the group leaves and takes all the mushrooms that were in the family's possession. Despite being carnivores, they have been forced to change their diet since Alfie took over the planet, but they have relapsed. Now that he has connected with his power, Klaus tries to contact the creators of the Tianshang weapons and the masters answer his call. However, Poe can't hear what they are saying and realizes that he must go to the stone monster in order to listen to them. So, after feeding, the group sets off on another journey. Through his power, Klaus is guided along the path he must follow and the rest of the team follows. They run after the dried leaf for several days until they reach a small village. That night, Poe discovers that a giant stone monster has been tormenting the villagers and he must get it to devour them. Kamanzi, one of the villagers, decides to accompany them to find out how to get rid of the creature. The problem is that instead of eating them, the monster wants to smash them with the stones. So they have to find an alternative entrance and use a secret passage at the foot of the giant. Once there, they climb to the top of the statue and Klaus tries to access his powers again. As the place is full of magic, the weasel gets the strength he needs to awaken the ancestral masters. After revealing what has happened, Poe discovers that the entire planet could explode at any moment, because Alfie has united all the continents and this has caused extreme changes inside the Earth. Luckily, the ancestors claim that they are capable of destroying the weapons, but to do so they need the help of Master Mastodon. So the group must figure out how to free him from Alfie's spell. Before saying goodbye, Kamanzi asks for Rukmini's help to move the giant away, as she has lived inside it for several decades. Determined to help her, the primate orders it to stand up and the monster follows her orders. After thinking of a plan to free the Mastodon Master, Poe remembers that all he has to do is remove one of Alfie's five weapons so that he no longer has control over the ancestral army and Blade says he will help him with this mission. As part of the plan, Ping and Furuzen contact the Emperor of China and the Queen of England and ask them to start a war, which will serve as a distraction for Alfie's servants. Before the battle begins, Blade receives a gift from Akna and now has a beautiful sword to help her fight her brother. At Rukmini's request, the stone monster hurls the team above the clouds and they fly to Alfie's floating lair while Poe goes to find his father again. Minutes before the supposed war begins, an army of ancestral spirits appears to try to stop them from continuing the fight after breaking into the hideout. Blade finds her brother and tries to distract him while Rukmini and the others try to steal one of the weapons. But before she could complete her mission, Alfie detected their presence and threatened to throw them tens of meters into the air. Just then, a real war broke out down below. The spirits realized that the confrontation was just a distraction and began to attack the rival armies. While Alfie threatens Blade's friends, Lucinda appears and steals his sword, freeing Master Mastodon and the other spirits from the knight's command. Luckily, the trio managed to hold onto a rock and avoid falling. Then Akna steals the helmet and the whole island starts to fall. At this point, Alfie fires a few bolts of lightning and manages to electrocute the bird. After recovering his helmet, he makes the rock float again, but ends up being attacked by Rukmini, who has managed to get hold of the infinite flame whip. After taking it back, the bear is convinced that he has all the weapons again, but Blade reveals that she has the chakram and attacks her brother in an attempt to force him to hand over the artifacts. During the duel, Klaus runs away and plans to use his powers to summon the masters. 
However, before he can do so, Alfie attacks his sister and manages to defeat her, taking possession of all the weapons once again. He then calls his entire army back and causes earthquakes that crack the surface of the entire planet. As the world collapses, Blade tries to stop her brother from eliminating Klaus, but Alfie sends his army after him. At that moment, Poe goes to help his friend and manages to steal one of the fingers from the gauntlet, which allows him to attack his enemy. With Blade's help, the panda steals the sword and Veruca helps Klaus summon the ancestors. After attacking his own mother and realizing that everything around him is falling apart, Alfie admits that he has gone too far and decides to hand over his weapons to the Dragon Knights. Together, they have the mission of restoring the planet and dividing it into continents again. When this happens, the weapons will be destroyed and all the spirits will be freed forever. Knowing that he will never be able to meet Veruca again, Klaus says goodbye to his sister and Blade does the same. Despite everything Alfie has done, she has never stopped loving him and is grateful to be able to hug her brother one last time. After unleashing the power of the four elements, Poe and his friends see the weapons taken away and disappear along with the spirit of their creators. At that moment, the planet is saved from annihilation, the elements are restored and the continents return to their places. The Tian Shang weapons are finally destroyed and the Dragon Knights become true legends. After completing her mission, Blade returned home and was appointed head of England's knights. However, she was no longer interested in being a knight, so she passed the title on to Colin. Akna also went her own way and returned to Tikal. She now works making toys for the locals. Rukmini, meanwhile, took on the role of Pirate Queen and set off across the ocean with the people she loves most. Foruzan and Ping returned to China and went back to work in the restaurant, with Poe and Blade as their loyal customers. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.